What's up Sagittarius? This is going to be a love forecast for the second half of August. This is for my Saggy Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and for the Cross Watchers. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a like, throw me a comment, share. It really helps out my channel. And if you're new here, I put these out every two weeks. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell if you want to keep up with me as I do. I also do offer personal readings. All the info for that's in the description box of the video. And if you ever can't get a hold of me, I've put a link to Mystic Sense, a wonderful company that does offer you access to really talented psychics and readers all over the world. Um, and if you use the link that I've provided in the description box, they're gonna give you the first five minutes free off your reading. Um, so check them out if you feel called to do so. And otherwise, if you wanna follow me on social media, I've put the links to my TikTok and my Instagram in the description as well. So let's get stuck into it. Spirit, what's coming in please for my Saggy. Saggy Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the area of love. Second half of August. Any love messages for my Saggy? Saggy Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Second half of August. Queen of Swords, Sag. Something about you stepping into your truth, expressing something, having a boundary. We've got the Knight of Wands in the reverse with the High Priestess and the Strength card. We've got the Knight of Swords and we've got a Queen of Wands in the reverse with the Three of Cups. Saggy. Something with a person that you feel maybe um, there's inconsistency is what I'm hearing. Knight of Wands, maybe the passion goes in and out. You could have a lot of passion with this person, but maybe it's a bit hot and cold. You could go through periods of silence or there could be an element of secrecy here. Um, I do feel you've got some kind of maybe a, a higher level connection, high priestess, you know, um, an intuitive bond. But there seems to be something here that's got you feeling... Like you're not in your power, queen of wands in the reverse. I mean, that's your archetype, fire sign queen. Um, it could be that there's a presence of outside energies, either friends or other romantic options, interests, that kind of a thing. With the strength card, something calling for you to step into your power. So I said, it feels like you're not in your power. With the strength card, it's possible you are stepping into your power now as we move through August. Um, also, it could be that there's a bit of ego going on here, and that could be why... There's a bit of this hot and cold, you know, um, sort of an energy. And we've got Knight of Swords as well. So Knight of Swords, so there could be some harsh communication um, between you and this person. Um, you know, maybe there's a bit of triggering going on, as I said, with that, with the ego and the Three of Cups. You know, maybe you're dealing with a situation where you feel someone's not really prioritizing you or, um, you know, keeping you as an option with that Three of Cups. You're dealing with someone that likes to go out and have fun. Um, and then maybe there's things that you feel are not revealed to you. Maybe you feel like this person's hiding something from you. I don't know. But the Knight of Swords can be a bit sort of harsh or um, erratic communication. Nine of Swords, it seems to be causing you a bit of stress here. Um, I'm going to do the cross energies on them and see how they're feeling and where this is going. But something about you stepping in your power, Sag. I mean, Queen of Wands in the reverse, it's the Shadow Queen. Maybe this brings out also a harsh side of you, Sag, because that can be a little bit that way. For some of you, you're dealing with a situation with a person where there's a Queen of Wands in the reverse, it, you know, like a third party type energy, not all of you. But that can be a little bit of a karmic type of an energy. So maybe you're dealing with someone that um, goes in and out because they're dealing with someone else. Okay, guys. Uh, I mean, I get the oracles and we'll get more information on it. But I've got the Seven of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. And I channeled Queen of Swords as I was shuffling. So there's something about you having invested in this situation and sort of waiting to see how things play out. But now there's this call for truth. So there could be a conversation brewing, Sag, um, where things are not clear or there's a sense of the unknown. There could be a clarity coming through. Maybe you're feeling sort of the urge to get something off your chest or to say something with that Queen of Swords or to set a boundary is what I'm hearing. Um, tell me what the Queen of Swords is all about. The Ace of Pentacles, the Two of Wands and the Death card. What I'm getting, Sag, it's like this is sort of at a Two of Wands. So... You know, this is about like, what's the direction forward here? Um, some of you may feel like this person is sort of keeping you at a crossroads or they're indecisive in some way um, around maybe commitment. Okay, so it's sort of like, are we, are we doing this? Are we committed or are we ending this sort of thing? And maybe you're dealing with a person that hasn't ended something so they can't move towards you. That's for a portion of you, right? Or maybe you're dealing with someone that's non-committal. So um, maybe there's a call for truth. Um, you might be feeling a bit that way too, Sag, so I'm not just, you know, making them into the 
the player or whatever. Um, it could be you that's maybe sort of been investing and you're not too sure, like, is this really what I want? I mean, something has you, I feel, feeling like you're not really in your power. So maybe there's something within the dynamic, um, like, you know, your boundaries are not very strong or something like that. I don't know. Um, but the death card, it seems to be that there's something that might end. Um, with the possibility of creating something very solid, maybe you're looking at more than one option, Sag, because we've got the Ace of Pentacles. So maybe there's one that seems to be like a lot of investing and not getting as much return or waiting on the return. And maybe there's something else coming through um, that seems to be more your speed. <laughs> okay, I don't know. Let's have a look. Death card, world card. So big, big energies around um, closing cycles. Okay, transformation. So maybe there's a personal transformation as well. Sag, you stepping into your truth and your power. Maybe stepping into your truth and your power is about communicating your needs or your desires in a situation. Um, maybe that's really Sag, you know, that's, that's the whole thing. It's like maybe this is a cycle you need to close out. Maybe there's stress in a situation because you've been holding back um, and there's some kind of a transformation coming in as you step into your truth. And you express yourself because there's a seven of cups in the reverse. So maybe you've been dealing with a situation where there's been a lot of confusion, mixed emotion or options with the seven of cups or things have been just very unclear and now they're becoming clear. Um, eight of cups in the reverse. So this is a person maybe that's hot and cold in and out, but neither of you've kind of disconnected or walked away. And I do think that there's a reconnect, eight of cups in the reverse. And perhaps, like I said, conversation. So we'll look at what the outcome of that is. Um, for you because I've got five of pentacles in the reverse which is about wanting to come out of the cold so there could be this disconnect between you and this person or this kind of you know hot and cold hot one minute then disconnected the other um, and now maybe that's sort of something that's being resolved I've got five of swords in the reverse so five of swords in the reverse so communication issues again uh, five of swords also can be like arguments for the sake of arguments and I did say that there's ego here um, or this can be when you're not on the same page, but maybe you're not on the same page, Saj, because there's confusion. We are in Mercury um, retrograde shadow phase as I'm filming this, and I think it's officially going retrograde during this cycle for this round. Um, so it could be a little bit like there's things that are just not being said or expressed in the right way, or there's miscommunication, because um, I have Six of Pentacles in the Emperor card. There's something about focusing on reciprocity like perhaps you feel like you haven't been getting the reciprocity from a person, you've been wanting them to take more control of matters. Um, you could be dealing with a husband and a father figure um, or otherwise, you know, or that's you. Um, but otherwise, this is really about equal give and take. Maybe you feel like you've been getting a bit of breadcrumbing, um, but maybe you haven't stood up and asked for what you want. You know what I'm saying, Sag? So the Emperor card anyway, you could also be dealing with someone that is a boss you know, or, or, or is focused on work. Um, and possible that, Sag, this person does want to come in and give you this Ace of Pentacles because I said there's a new beginning here that looks very committed and solid. Money matters could be at play, okay? Um, but yeah, Six of Pentacles. So this can be someone actually wanting to come in and be more generous with you. Maybe that's what you've been trying to, to get from someone. Um, but you know, maybe you've been getting frustrated because you haven't really been clear or asked for what you need. Um, or otherwise, Sag, maybe like I said, maybe you're deciding Queen of Swords, you want to cut it off. But let me get some more cards um, specifically on this person. I'll just get one more on that Emperor. You know, um, Emperor is a person that does sort of tend to take control um, and put in effort and build. So maybe, you know, you've got a foundation with this person, Seven of Pentacles, so maybe you're hoping to build something off that foundation, but you're frustrated because you feel that you've been investing more or this person's taking more of your energy or time or not fully um, clear or committed, okay? Some of you are dealing with a person that has a tie to someone else, right? The Emperor card, so I did say with that Three of Cups, you know, maybe there's issues here, maybe there's financial issues here because this person has responsibility, okay? Or there could be some kind of um, influence of a father figure or issues to do with a father figure. Anyway, so there's a few different scenarios here, but I've got the Ace of Swords. So there's a truth coming through, Sag, and a clarity and a conversation. So that's confirming what I said. Um, I'm gonna see what they're doing, but either way, I think this is happening. Um, it could be very like sort of impulsive, 
conversation or communication, um, but it's going to give you clarity and a breakthrough. And then I've got nine of cups. So something about hopes and wishes, uh, maybe you getting clear on what you really desire and what you want. Um, I feel like this person, you have a lot of joy with this person, but like I said, there's something about balancing things. Um, so let me just get a take, uh, take on what they're coming in with, but I just saw the seven of swords and the seven of wands. Seems to be some defensive behavior between the two of you. Seven of swords, like trust issues, or you feel like this person's not being upfront and maybe a bit avoidant. I mean, the emperor card can be quite, um, you know, reserved or cold even sometimes. So maybe you feel like that's the energy that you're getting. Maybe that provokes a little bit of this kind of, um, suspicion or trust issues. Maybe, maybe they're founded. Sag, I'll get the oracles and see what's going on. For some of you, you feel like this person's not been very honest or there's something, like I said, secretive here or sneaky or not revealed, but there's a revelation. Okay, Sag, could be a happy revelation, the outcome, or it's you moving forward and feeling quite happy. Maybe about putting away the shit, <laughs> Queen of Swords. So let's get some, um, and setting a boundary, right? So let's get some cards, um, spirit on this person. Eight of Swords, this person is like a bit of an overthinker, feeling quite trapped. They could, oh, excuse me, they could have a lot of fears um, when it comes to, you know, commitments or um, being vulnerable because that Emperor card on the shadow can be a bit that way. Let's have a look. Okay, Sag, so they're feeling like you're queen of cups, but there's five of swords. And we have the five of swords in the reverse. Five of swords, so you you know, there's this sort of sense of, you know, I think you're getting a bit exhausted and you want to let go of the exhaustion here from this situation where you're not really getting on the same page or there's communication issues. They are feeling that exhaustion. There's maybe a sense of defeat here, um, but they want to reignite passion. They have a lot of desire for you, Saji. There's an Ace of Cups in the reverse with a Devil card in the reverse. I think they're also understanding the Devil card stage, there could be some like toxic patterns, right? Like I said, maybe there's defensiveness, um, standoffishness, or maybe there is a little bit of this avoidance or, or deception going on, and that's creating um, a loss of love. So maybe they feel like you're withdrawing your love now. Um, the Devil card is like a need to sort of release and let go of what's toxic. Um, you know, devil card can be obsession and I've got the ace of wands. Maybe this person is sort of sexually quite obsessed with you. Um, but then we've got the ten of pentacles and the eight of wands. This person wants to talk to you, Sarge, about the future. Okay? So that's why I am saying I have a feeling this person does want to come in and give you a new start. It seems to be with the ace of cups in the reverse, you know, that they're feeling almost like maybe it's not going to be possible to give you this love that you really want I don't know um, because they have a lot of fear eight of swords or um, there's something that's stressing them out it could be in relation to sort of family issues or financial issues ten of pentacles in terms of like what they see for the future and, and how they can build that um, you know maybe they're worried that you're not on the same page six of wands they still want your attention though Sag and they watch you heavily page of swords even if you go into silence I think this person could observe you or go through your old messages, look at your photos. Um, but there's a six of pentacles again. So I think they want to come in there. They're sort of like observing the situation and they want to come in and give you something more balanced and reciprocal. Money just seems to be coming up quite a lot as a concern. Um, why do we have that ace of cups in the overall, in the reverse, the hermit? Okay, so this person, there is a bit of this distant energy between the two of you. I think this person's doing a bit of soul searching around um, some of their insecurities is what I'm hearing because the Ace of Cups in the reverse can also be lack of self-love. It doesn't just have to be about, you know, the love between you and them. Um, I think that this person could substitute sex a little bit for intimacy, like true intimacy. And I think that's due to like something that they need to dig deep for. And it could be related to some inherited stuff through family um, or in their past. You know, I've got the emperor, as I said that. So there's something to do with maybe a father figure or like a distorted kind of a masculine type energy. Um, you know, maybe they don't feel deserving or worthy of the love. We've got the eight of pentacles and the ace of swords though. So, wow. And then the empress, oh my God. And then the knight of swords. So there's going to be some kind of rush or impulsive communication um, and a truth, okay, about wanting to put more effort in with you. And we've got the emperor and the empress and the upright. So this person does see you as a counterpart, 
and they want to sort of maybe get on the same page and um, build something with you. I mean, this is, you know, Emperor, Empress, Ten of Pentacles. So this is talking about the future and really the future vision, but in the material. So like, it's almost like they have a plan um, and they want the success with you. So, and then the Four of Wands has also fallen out. So the Four of Wands is about marriage, long-term commitments, sharing a home, building something together. I think that they've been quite trapped in their mind um, for a while about this whole situation. You know, I don't know, Sag. I mean, we have the Knight of Wands in the reverse over here and the Three of Cups. So I, I haven't on this side how they're feeling picked up any real third-party energy. Um, perhaps this is like more so seven of swords there's suspicion because you feel like this person keeps a lot to themselves or they go silent or something like that and that could be due to like i said like there's an avoidance or there's a not wanting to be vulnerable let me get a little bit more on it you know the seven of swords is the trust issues let's have a look <laughs> we've got the three of cups energy okay sad tell me about this three of cups though yeah nine of wands in the reverse okay so there's been a bit of guardedness and wounding um it could be, like I said, because there's this sense of three of cups, like someone wants to keep their options open or there's a more focus on friends and having fun. I mean, that's that devil card. So that's temptations, but it's also, you know, it can be drinking and partying. It can be avoidance, like through third party energy um, that's caused like a block or a wound between the two of you. I think it's also connected to this is the wounded warrior, right? So maybe this person likes to distract themselves. To be honest, Sag, they could be wounded because they feel like that's you. So there could be a bit of this trust issues between the two of you and projection. Um, but the Knight of Swords is also a cutting away of stuff with the Ace of Swords, like getting to the truth, um, clarity. It can be honesty, getting on the same page. And I feel with the Nine of Wands in the reverse, it's like, let's deal with what's really causing the block here and get on the same page, right? Um, and because the devil cards in the reverse, this is like releasing what's toxic, um, and holding maybe the connection back. Okay. Cause you're coming up as a queen of cups, Sag. they have like, they feel you're very much someone that they have a genuine emotional bond with. Um, let's see. And then page of pentacles. So they want to make an offer, um, towards you and they have been holding back quite a lot. I also think this person is a bit possessive of you, Sag. So that could be also like, I think that they're guarded with you um, because I feel like they're almost feeling that you might have other options or they're not good enough for you. There's like an insecurity, four of pentacles, insecurity, you know, um, or there's financial issues and they feel like insecure about their finances and about whether or not they can actually build this future. So I think that they are coming to make an offer. They feel like what they give you is small, page of pentacles. And that's more due, due to, I think, like I said, that they don't feel like they're adequate. I will now see with the um, with the oracles what details we get, but I feel like with this three of cups and nine of wands energy, it might be a bit of bravado, Sag. Um, it might be this person wants to kind of um, put up a front um, and not be vulnerable with you and sort of go and um, maybe there's a bit of game playing. I don't know. Let's just take a look. Like self-sabotage, which is also the seven of swords and that's causing the rift and the conflict and um, Maybe there's a bit of retaliation. So, you know, someone behaves one way and the other one reacts and then it sort of exacerbates things, you know, um, terms, working out, begging, negotiating. So the Knight of Swords, this person's rushing in, okay, with an Ace of Swords. They want to negotiate with you. They've been trapped, mental prison, which is that Eight of Swords. I think that this person, it's like they're obsessively thinking about you, Sag, and how they can solve the matter. But the matter is coming from, like the issue is coming from something that's a bit deeper. Um, it's not really so much about anyone else. It's more so like, how do they want to show up for you and what insecurities do they need to deal with? You understand what I'm saying? Um, spirit, see? So divine intervention, shielding. So this person could also be getting a lot of like signs and support from spirit which is why they're understanding that they have to go within and, and really shine a light on what is not healthy or toxic, including their patterns or their fears. Ending cycles, we've got completely done. So ending cycles, lessons learned, coming for full circle. Now look, Saj, you might be feeling this distance and they might be sensing that with your energy that you wanna end this as well, right? So that's the ending. Um, completely done, but there's also opportunity to end cycles 
right and move in a different direction so maybe this is kind of the, the aha moment that they've had i mean this is clarity right ace of swords ace of swords and maybe like that getting on the same page negotiating <laughs> begging negotiating signs i did say signs meanings repeated numbers synchronicities so let's see yeah moving environment change okay maybe there's a move involved here but this also says empty shell so I feel like something in this person's behavior, it's like they're realizing that it's not leading to much fulfillment. I said with that ace of cups in the reverse, this person is not, you know, focusing on the love from within. And so whatever they're distracting themselves with, um, it leaves them feeling empty, blind. Okay. So blinded to truth, very interesting. And there's a lot here about truth. So there's something about getting to the heart of the matter. Um, you've been kind of not sure of what the truth of this is. And this person has kind of been blinded to the truth of what needs to change with that eight of swords. Um, like in terms of the fears, etc. there's the completely done card with, you know, ending cycles, lessons learned or coming full circle with reflection, dark shadow facing inner truth. So this person has like a shadow that they need to face party. There it is. There's that three cups. I said, it's like having fun, fun with friends, clubbing. So there's some kind of a, and I, you know, like a, an escapist thing with the mask, pretending not genuine, putting up a front. And then I've got the jealousy, pettiness, something about pettiness here, you know, in the communication, or maybe trying to make, they're trying to make you jealous. Maybe you do the same, Sag, because that causes conflict, differences, clashing, you know, maybe they don't want to come across as they're totally um, all about you. You know, they like to put up a front because they don't want to show that they're vulnerable or that they have feelings with decision, indecision, uncertain, contemplating, stay or leave. Um, and then what? Lost. Running away. Feeling empty. Emptiness. There's something about this person feeling very um, empty, whatever they are keeping themselves stuck in or their repetitive cycles. With faith. Okay. Wishing, praying, hoping. And then we've got anchor, heaviness, geez, Sag. Um, but then I've got finding the truth, validation, confirmation. So there's something about truth. So something being revealed or a confession of sorts, um, like a conversation between the two of you. And maybe they're having a bit of a truth and an understanding of what they've kind of been running from, which is something within themselves that they've got to deal with, right? Um, some kind of a pain. Yeah, surprise, unexpected change. And I said there could be like an abrupt conversation or a surprise. So it might not be what you're expecting, um, this conversation <laughs> with the ego card. <laughs> oh, having too much pride, being stubborn, holding back. So they've been holding back a lot. So I think that's why you're going to be surprised because we do have the terms working out, begging, negotiating. Okay. And I saw the, you know, I talked about the page of swords before, and then we've got observing, being watched, obsessed with you. Social media stalking. This person is obsessed with you. Even when you're not speaking, they are obsessively thinking about you, but they've had such a wall um, because of their ego. And then I've got the proposal commitment taking to the next level. And that's that ace of pentacles that came out. So there is an offer for something very committed or t taking it to the next level coming through. Um, it's like this person had to come to their own understanding of some of their like their habits and their patterns. I also feel like Sag, this person um, has triggered something in you because you're coming up like the queen of wands in the reverse. So there's something calling for you to step into your power um, and, you know, call in a more balanced connection. Six of Pentacles can be our own codependency. So maybe this person's been triggering some insecurity in you and that's why you are stepping into a more balanced energy. And so this person's now coming in, I think, um, with an understanding that they have to put more effort in. The Eight of Pentacles came out before. I think this person drowns themselves in work and career and in unhealthy uh, distractions. You know what I'm saying? Let me get you a romance angel and see what's coming in for you with this. Okay, calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. They've been holding back a lot, Sag, due to their ego. So there's a lot here about truth, honesty, conversation. So this is probably what's happening. There's a like, it's chipping away at the mask, or sorry, at the wall. Um, you know, taking the mask off and it could be that you're having 
a conversation that feels a lot more authentic and is sort of reaching a deeper level of intimacy. You deserve love. You are lovable. This has been triggering something about, you know, something within you where you are feeling not lovable. This person is not loving themselves because of their wounding. And so they don't feel lovable. So they've been sabotaging. Look, chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction. There's a, there's a lot of attraction, Sag, with that Knight of Wands in the reverse, okay? Um, but, you know, there's also been a lot of ego and I've got trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Um, so no one's saying you have to go for it, Sag, but I think um, if you do want to continue because you're at a two of wands, then it's going to have, you know, it's going to require mutual trust and having faith. Um, because I do feel like there's a lot of this suspicion and self-sabotage going on between the two of you and maybe jealousy and pettiness. Um, what else? Yeah, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. I think they're coming in to be more expressive with their love, maybe be more romantic. I think it's very hard for this person to really like open up and drop the mask. So um, it's up to you, Sag. I do have flirt and healing family issues. I think this person likes to play jealous games. So maybe they like to make you believe that they're flirting or keeping other people around, um, you know, or you're just, you know, just having fun or whatever, but it's like healing family issues. There's something here that needs to be healed within them and, and they're realizing that it's toxic, okay, and that it's not leading to fulfillment or that their behavior is not serving them. Maybe you've been retaliating by flirting. Maybe you also have healing family issues, Sag. I'm just saying. Um, so work on your partnership. Give your relationship a chance. So they're going to come in and they're going to say they want to work on things with you, Saggy. Um, so up to you. There's some kind of an offer for something committed or, or even more committed than what you've got um, coming through and a decision. Okay, Saggy. All right, I hope that that resonated for you. And if so, you can give me a like and a comment, please. And I will check in with you guys in two weeks time. Lots of love.